In this video, we will see how to upgrade Redis version using kubedb. Let's uh, head over to my workstation. And here you can see I have already deployed a Redis cluster. Uh, the version is 4.0.6 v2 and the cluster is now ready. You can see there is six ports, all the ports are running. So I have uh, three master and each master has one replica. So first let's see uh, what version kubedb now supports. As you can see, there is now five version, 4.0.1, 4.0.6, 5.0.3, 6.0.6 and uh, 6.2.5. So currently the uh, I have deployed a Redis cluster on version 6. Uh, 4.0.6. I want to update this to 6.2.5. So let's deploy the YAML to update the version. Okay, uh, I have deployed the version upgrade YAML. As you can see in the ops request section, the name of the ops request is version upgrade and it is in uh, progressing state. So all the ports are restarting with the new version. So let's look at the YAML. So here you can see uh, the version upgrade YAML. Uh, all other fields are the previous, uh, same as the previous ops request. In the spec, uh, we uh, need to specify the type. The type should be upgrade. And the database reference contains the, uh, the database we want to update. And then in the upgrade section, we have the target version, which uh, is now uh, currently I provided 6.2.5 because I want to go to the that version. And uh, when this ops request is, uh, progressing let's uh, have a look how things uh, happen under the hood so first uh, i used a community operator and deployed yaml to credit uh, create the redis cluster and uh, this redis object is watched by community operator then i have uh, created a redis ops request and this ops request object is watched by ops manager operator and in the ops request ob ops request yaml i have provided a database name which this ops request will operate and uh, ops manager operator will first pause the database so that um, when ops manager operator uh, does its operation community operator does not do any operation on the db object after that uh, ops manager operator will update the pod image so it will grab all the ports under this database and update all the pod image and after uh, pod image is updated it will uh, restart all the ports so that uh, the new connections are built using this new version and uh, after successfully restarting all the ports uh, the cluster will be updated and after that ops manager operator will uh, resume this uh, database so that community operator can perform its regular operations so here you can see still uh, version upgrade ops request is progressing and the database ports are terminating state so, so some of the ports have already been terminated and other are being terminating so uh, let's look at uh, let's look at the stateful sets so here we have uh, three stateful set so as we have three shard and uh, each shard each shard is contained in a stateful set so we have three stateful set so uh, first we patch the stateful set with the new version then the pod is restarted with the new image so let's see if the uh, yaml of stateful set is updated okay so here you can uh, see uh, the stateful set yaml and in the spec we have a template section and here uh, we have container section so let's look at the image as you can see the image is ready 6.2.5 so uh, the update is already passed on the stateful set and uh, if we now check the cluster yaml it will not be updated because uh, the update process is not yet completed So here you can see the version is still 4.6 v2 so after the restart process is completed we will patch the uh, db object and now let's look at one of the uh, restarted ports to see what image this is using so in the spec section uh, we have a container section now let's head over to the image so uh, as you can see image is 6.2.5 so whenever a pod restarted it restarted with the updated image 
we can also we can uh, view log of the pod to uh, verify its version so let's uh, see log of the we started pod so here you can see that uh, this uh, this is log from redis so the redis version is 6.2.5 and it is uh, commit is zero so it just started so it started with the new redis version so uh, the ports are terminating let's wait a few moments until this ops request is completed then our db object will update it and this version field which is uh, which will be updated then yeah so as you can see our uh, the ops request is successful and our uh, the version of the db object is now 6.2.5 the status is critical because the replica is still trying to connect with its master and form the cluster it will be ready in a moment Okay, meanwhile, we can have look at a look at the cluster status. So let's see the cluster nodes, how many nodes are there. Yeah, so there is uh, six nodes. So the communication have established. We can see how many masters are there. As you can see, there is three master. Uh, and now the database status is ready. Here we go. So uh, in this way, you can easily apply YAML and update the version of your database. And uh, with that, uh, in the next, we will have a look at how to reconfigure, reconfigure PLS of your database. And uh, thank you for watching.